Okay, good afternoon people. Um, welcome to another video by Mr. Drone. So this afternoon, um, come just a uh, short distance away from Liverpool to do this video. There we have it. The Emirates Stadium, home of Arsenal Football Club. Now, I've got to say, um, turning up, I walked down the road through under a, under a small bridge over there, um, walking down the road and all of a sudden, turned the corner, come out from under the bridge and there it was, this huge stadium. So, top of the steps, and the, the idea of today is to visit this amazing stadium, and I'm doing the, the tour of the Emirates today. So I'll take you, you guys on, on the tour of the Emirates so we can get inside and hopefully up close and personal um, and see what that tour's uh, like from the inside. So first, before the tour, I'm going to have a little walk around the stadium, um, see, what sort of, uh, see what sort of things they've got going on, because I see a lot of statues, a lot of murals already. So, so let's, uh, let's have a look around. Heading over the bridge now, right up towards the Emirates and the clock face band. And this is just an impressive stadium. I haven't even been in it yet. Just taking a walk around. This it's a really impressive one from the outside. Um, a couple of bridges linking it. Um, you can only, only imagine on a match day, you know, if you were a home supporter coming across this as a busy bridge. Let me turn you around. You go heading right towards it now. See the clock at the top there, used to be at uh, the old Arsenal Stadium, nicknamed Highbury. But, we've had a walk around, let's get into the museum, check out the museum, and then let's do that tour. Let's go. Okay, heading into the Arsenal Museum, I was asked not to record, but told that I could take as many photographs as I liked. So, heading down the stairs, you first get to see um, a lot of these pennants that the that Arsenal have been given over the years. Next you see a replica of the Arsenal cannon that they actually gift to each of their European opponents. Moving on, uh, you get to learn about the founding fathers of Arsenal Football Club, who were a group of teammates from the Woolwich Arsenal Munitions Factory. They started a football team and played their first game in 1886. Um, that then moved on to become Arsenal Football Club. Here is the Certificate of Incorporation of the Limited Company. Next, moving on, you get to see the penalty spot taken from Arsenal's last game at Highbury Stadium in 2006. They beat Wibben 4-2, I believe. 
Next is a golden goal trophy from the FA Cup final of 1971 against Liverpool. And then you get to see this strange statue of George Graham. After that, there's a lot of cool stuff like this. back down the steps into the what's called the armory start that tour get rid of that bee behind me um, into the armory start this tour see what it's like but this should be a good one moving it's a good one um, like I say it looks fantastic from the outside let's check it out from the inside here we go it's tour time Okay, so starting the tour in the car park, the first visit is to the Diamond Club and Director's Box. Uh, once you head upstairs into the entrance, you do see the bronze busts of men. They changed Arsenal's history, basically. It's Dennis Hillwood, Peter Hillwood, Herbert Chapman and Arsene Wenger who needs the introduction. From there, you continue up the stairs to the executive box and diamond lounge, seeing some pretty cool stuff on the way too. And here we are at the director's lounge. On the back wall of the director's box is a display cabinet which contains the Invincibles trophy. Um, it's from Arsenal 2003-2004 season where they went the entire campaign undefeated. Okay, leaving the director's lounge now, next on the tour is heading up to the Diamond Club. Okay, the Diamond Club is the best club in the Emirates. The steward that was on told me that it's £35,000 a season, and for that, the member will get two seats. There's only 80 members. Um, it's, it's a restaurant with two Michelin stars. Um, it's got a fantastic bar, fantastic seats outside, um, with TV screens as well. So the Diamond Club is the place to be. Okay, after the Diamond Club, you jumped straight in the lift, uh, went down to floor minus one, um, which was out to the tunnel, as you can see in front, uh, but we turned left and went to the home changing room. 
Okay, so the steward in the home changing rooms was really chatty as well and uh, knowledgeable, so he informed me that the changing rooms were actually designed by Arsene Wenger, um, who was apparently really into his Feng Shui. So the pool that um, I just shown you in the video um, did make quite a lot of you know noise, real tran tranquil um, water noise that that you could hear in the changing rooms. And the changing rooms were all you could see it's all you know rounded off and circular and, and kind of not not square. So that was Arsene Wenger trying to bring in a, a relaxed feel to to it apparently. Um, so when they all come in at half time or whenever it is and they can hear the water flowing from that pool, um, it, it relaxes them. And this office attached to the back of the changing rooms that's got uh, Mikel Arteta's name on it would be the office where he'd bring, um, he'd invite you know the opposing manager um, in for a drink after the game or a chat or, or maybe some of the players or, or have a meeting in there um, just on game days only, match days only. Okay, so heading out the home changing rooms now, I would usually go straight into the away changing rooms but as you can see straight ahead the Norwich um, coaching staff and, and backroom staff are actually in there preparing the game for tomorrow so it was closed so straight up the top After sitting pitch side for as long as you can, it's back inside to check out the interview rooms, which don't look too great until you zoom in. Then it's straight on down the corridor to the press office. So coming just out the uh, the press office now, um, to the end of the tour, um, you have a look around this room. That was the end of the Emirates Stadium tour, which was just a fantastic tour. Um, I loved it. I didn't. It was a self-guided tour, but to be honest, I spent a lot of time talking to the staff around, um, who were very helpful. So anyone uh, watching this that, that might work for Arsenal, the Arsenal Tour, thank you very much. You were really helpful, really chatty. Um, I've been here, I think it's about to close. I've been here for quite a while because I was talking to them for, for a long time. So I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Emirates Stadium. Um, I really did. I um, really recommend it to anyone visiting London. I'm back out now to the, the car park area. and back into the armory which is the end of the tour so thank you very much everyone i really hope you enjoyed that as much as me take care